Well, I, uh, first off, I just I thought we did some really good things in the first quarter. I thought we executed at a really high level. One of our goals as a football team today was to try to get an early lead. We've uh, found we've had success with that against against triple option teams we've played in the past. And I just I don't know. I just sensed all day that we needed to be aggressive in our first 20 plays offensively and uh, maybe try to push the football a little bit. Just trying to keep an eye on the weather. We thought maybe if that storm hit the second half, we might be limited uh, with some of our plays. So we we tried to fire most of our bullets early uh, in the first half. And I thought our guys did a really good job. Defensively, you know, usually when you play an option team, it may take you a few series to get the speed, the flow of the option. And I thought our defense just came out and uh, did some great things early, made some adjustments throughout the course of the game. And I thought for the most part, tackled very well. Uh, that, uh, you know, obviously offensively, uh, Lenore Ryan's a good, very good football program. I thought special teams were huge today. We had a goal today to score points or block a kick. And we did both those on the same play. Thought our kick coverage team was outstanding. That was another key to today's field position. We talked about that all week. And, uh, you know, last but not least, thought we had a group of guys and coaches played, that played to win today for 60 minutes. Made some huge, huge plays on third down. You know, Rubens play early in the game, Clint's late. And then uh, I told Trevor and uh, before we came out, the last uh, – every game that we've won here, we've ran a play called 282 score for a touchdown. All the way back to Ryan George in 1999, two-point conversion. Raphael Robinson in the semifinals. Jake Soy in 2009. And there was a point towards the end of that game where we thought we needed to be aggressive and we kind of looked at each other. <laughs> he, he didn't – one where he was going to throw it, he's going to throw it to Clint early. But uh, we scored on 282 score again for the fourth time here. So. Uh, just very proud of our kids. Questions? Coach, you opened up really fast, 17-0. What did you do to make your players feel so comfortable? I think it has a lot to do with our seniors, 12 seniors. But we just we – talked, we've talked all year, especially in the postseason, about trying to stay loose and playing to win. And, you know, I think that starts with us as coaches – just how we approach the kids each and every day. And um, I thought, you know, I was loose all week. We had a lot of fun at practice like we usually do. And then these guys just pick up and, and uh, feed off that. There was a couple of coaches, um, you know, that are on the NCAA committee that are here. And uh, another coach from another school was at our Friday practice yesterday and I just apologized before I said if you're going to look at us and watch a Friday practice and think we're a championship football team you probably wouldn't know it because we like to have a lot of fun but I, I think that was a huge factor. Uh, hey, DJ, Coach Rural said that sometimes it takes a defense a couple of series to get used to an option type. Did you get a sense that it took them a couple of series to get used to your defense? Um, you know, honestly, just going out there and executing the game plan coaches put for us, uh, it did take them a little bit because as we watched on tape all week, uh, you know, no one played them with good leverage and, you know, our coaches did a great job weekend or this week, especially getting us ready for, you know, the triple option. It's very hard offense to defend, but, you know, they put in countless hours and, you know, really got us to understand and believe and do our 111th and, you know, that's what, honestly, all day long the defense did. DJ, what made it so Um, it was a little both. Uh, you know, Lenore Ryan's a great team. They uh, they fired off the ball offensively. I mean, offensive line and the wings did a good job of making the blocks that they needed to make. And, you know, they hit us a few times on it. We made adjustments. They made adjustments. And, you know, we kind of went back and forth. And, you know, I got a lot of respect and give them a lot of credit because their offense is very, very tough to stop. And they're very, very physical. How excited were you for uh, Ryan's day, especially being a senior? You know, the fullback last year, he switched around, had a great day today with the defensive tackle. Oh, I mean, I'm so excited. He uh, 
me and him go back to knowing each other since high school, and uh, he uh, started off as a linebacker our true freshman year, and you know he and I have a pretty s special close relationship, and you know he played lights out today. Him, you know the whole D line did. It all starts up front, and you know I'm so proud of those guys. They've played week in and week out, lights out, and you know I, we owe all our credit to them because they they started off for us. Trevor, what did you see? Yeah, you know, just kind of some of the, way, uh, the ways they were playing. Uh, they're, they're lining up defensively to um, our formations. You know, really allowed us to take some chances early and, and really be aggressive. And that's kind of what we wanted to do coming in this week was uh, be aggressive and play to win um, with our, you know, play calling and the way we get out there and execute. And uh, he had a great game. All of our receivers had a great game. And, you know, like, like TJ just said, it starts up front, though, with, with our offensive line. And, and those guys uh, had a heck of a day. They've had a heck of a year. And uh, so really... Uh, it was a good day for us uh, offensively in that in that perspective. Could you take could you take us through the first touchdown, the, the both of you guys? Just what was the thinking and what did you see? Yeah, you know that play. Um, I won't say it because I'll probably use it next year. But yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a it's a great uh, third down play, and uh, it's it's given us a lot of success um, this year. And, and just because I mean these the way these guys run it, uh, they run it so well, it kind of throws off you know that flat area defender and. Um, He's he's done a great job. Both of our slot guys on that on that route specifically this whole year, and so when I saw that Rover kind of bailing and kind of being confused a little bit, you know, just because that's kind of what it's done to some guys. And um, he made a great catch, and, and then he got upfield, and made the play, and so really just getting him the ball in space and letting him go, and and uh, very very proud of him, and very excited for for that yeah for that play specifically. Ruben, I mean, how would you how would you describe the report? Maybe the improvement that you and Trevor you know shown together these last. Four touchdowns the last two games. Uh, we just got to come out and do execute the game plan. I just know that I'm playing with the most efficient quarterback in Division Two, so I know if I run my route to the best of my ability and get open, he'll put the ball right there on the money. Coach Doyle, how far has Ruben come uh, throughout this year to where he's become a go-to receiver, but also a guy you want to get the ball in the hands of a reverse and play like that? Yeah, he's he's come a long ways. We're very proud of him. You know, uh, I don't know if people know Ruben's story. He walked on here. Just said he wanted a chance, and we gave him a chance, and he's taken that chance and, and ran. Uh, the thing that I'm most proud of him for, I just really feel like he's uh, developed into a very mentally tough individual, student athlete. He's really bought into the way we do things here, and uh, we talked about embracing December football, and he's running around last week with no sleeves on, and I'm yelling at the receiver coach, tell him to put some sleeves on. And he looked really cold, but. Uh, He's come a long way, and uh, you know we're just very proud of him. What's it mean to have uh, family on the back uh, doing this for Scott Boswick, and, and he got the Gatorade back in the end? Yeah, it it, uh, it just just a little side note on that. This started basically Sunday. I made a phone call to uh, Kendall Whitley and Adidas, and we've got a great partnership with them. And I just asked him for some socks <laughs> and some under uh, cold climate or the under stuff that you guys wear the Tech Fit, I think they call it. And, Within about 24 hours, he had sent back some mock-up jerseys and pants, and I, they, they, don't, they don't have any idea what that means to our kids. I wish you could have seen them last night when we, we showed it to them. They were walking in all week and wanting their name on the back. I was like, no, we're not putting our name on the back of our jersey. And so it was pretty neat to see their faces last night. I had them turn around, and Coach Quinlan, of course, who's all our strength coach, who's all ripped up, came out fully dressed in one of the uniforms. and. Uh, you know, that's been our mantra all year, family. We broke into that every time, and we just thought it was, instead of their individual name, to put that on the back, we thought would be pretty cool and, and honor Scott. DJ, considering, you know, what happened to you guys last year and, you know, where the program was, I mean, what does it mean to you guys right now to be sitting back up here? Uh, honestly, it's just a great, a great feeling. I, uh, I got to experience it in 2009. I watched uh, them win the national championship, and, you know, ever since that moment, I've known that this is where I want to be, and, you know, it's – Every team's goal at the beginning of the year, but to uh, achieve, you know, something this great is—it's an—it's uh, it's an unbelievable feeling. I really can't describe it, but, you know, I, it was the best way to send the 12 seniors out on this team, you know. And I honestly owe all the credit to them. They—they uh, they did a great job week in and week out leading us, and, you know, making sure that, you know, we're doing things the Bearcat way. And they did a great job again today, like you said. Bryant Hummel did a great job. You know, he led, and, you know, they just took it away, and owe all of my credit to them. No, sir. No, uh, we have not. It's just kind of been our, our breakdown, our slogan, the way we finish every game, every practice. 
we, Northwest Missouri State football has always been a very tight knit uh, community. You know, when guys come and when they leave, and I don't know, we just really kind of adapted it. I just I felt really good about our kids in the spring. We just seemed to be a little bit tighter uh, as far as a family, more connected, very unselfish, and that just kind of became our mantra as, as the season moved on. And I thought we really built on it. When did you put them on the back of the group? Uh, Adidas did it for us on Monday, and we actually got them in uh, Friday at about 10. They shipped them over to the Marriott. Trevor, Trevor, you have a lot of Um, it means everything because, especially winning the day, um, just it's just unbelievable. You know, for for us as a team, just knowing how hard um, all of our guys and coaches have worked um, since back in January when we started out on this thing together. Um, and, and for me, I just have to give all the glory to God. Uh, I just want to give Him all the praise for this, for this opportunity, for um, for our team, for our family. And uh, it, you know, it, it's cool um, to win the the individual awards for academics and stuff like that. I'm very grateful for that. But to be able to win this team award um, with all these brothers um, and guys that have developed us as, as men since, since I've been here as a freshman, um, it's, it's really incredible. So I'm very, uh, very thankful for it. Coach, you guys kind of, you know, pretty much with the exception of the Central game, took care of business almost the whole season. And just what does it mean to you and what does it say about this legacy to win a national championship in this fashion? Well, I, I, I was proud of our kids. I thought we got better each week, and I thought that was very, very apparent. And I think championship football teams do that. Took a big step and uh, won the league outright, you know, in St. Joe. Thought we really grew a lot of confidence from winning the MIAA. That was a huge goal. Really thought we were going to secure home field advantage. And, you know, if you look at Northwest Missouri State's record playing home playoff games, it's pretty good. So uh, it's great. I'm just proud of our coaches. You know, there's been a lot of coaches on our staff that have won a national championship before and uh, to be able to do it, you know, now uh, together and as a head coach, I just, like I've always said, I always just try to build on to what we've done at Northwest and I thought this group of guys and coaches did that. Trevor, can you talk a little about how wide open Ruben was on the 30 yard 29-7? Oh yeah, he he was. He, he <laughs> It's funny as we talk about our, our routes on the sideline and, and you know, what, what we're going to do if, if he does this and that and uh, the way that that play was set up, he made an adjustment uh, based off of what the safety did, and uh, and just got wide open. And um, you know, thankfully, I was able to get a, a ball to him, and he made a great catch. And so uh, this is a great play, it was a great call, and our offensive line gave us you know a lot of time, and and he did an awesome job of making that play happen. Coach, on that punt block, did you kind of overload the side on that? I mean, how were you able to accomplish that? Did it, did it help, obviously, having it on the half yard line? Well, Coach Gordon all week, we spend an inordinate amount of time on pump block, and um, they have run in about six to eight pump formations this year. And, I mean, he was very meticulous with our kids, each formation all, all week on how we're going to get lined up. Because a lot of teams that do that, they just think you're not going to rush. And so they came out in, in a tight pump formation. Our kids adjusted properly, and uh, we got home. So. Yeah, we basically got into an overload situation there. We stemmed to it. Coach, uh, Coach Houston's made great strides at Lenore Ryan in three seasons. This is their first appearance in a Division II championship game. As someone who has made many trips here as a player and coach, uh, is there any substitute for a team for this experience? Are you talking about Lenore Ryan? Yeah, I mean, just for a team uh, to gain experience in the, in the playoffs and in a championship. Well, yeah, they're going to gain a lot of confidence from this as a football program. Uh, he's a class individual. That's a class football program. It's one of the things I told him when I started researching him. We found out, you know, after our game versus Grand Valley, it's kind of scary. I was looking at his quotes, my quotes, kind of same, a lot of the same buzzwords we use with each other, and our, our, our kids. And so uh, they'll, they'll gain, and I told him that after the game, you know, coming from a guy who's lost this championship game, unfortunately, that – Right now, it's very hard for them and their kids to understand the type of year that they had. But, you know, by Christmas, they'll be able to reflect. Because in this profession, you don't have time to stop and look at what you've done. You don't. If you do that, you get beat. And uh, he'll stop. His team will stop around Christmas. And they'll look back at all the great things they did. And they will grow as a football program from that. We've got time for two more questions. Trevor, can you talk about the fact that, at least from what I saw, 
I didn't see you dance all day. You were just driving back, went, throwing. It was like you weren't too flush in the pocket. You looked like you were out for a Sunday stroll. <laughs> Well, thanks. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, that, that goes to our offensive line. And, um, you know, thankfully, we were, able, we were able to stay really healthy on the offensive line. And, and with that said, we've also had about seven guys that, you know, seven or eight guys that were able to get in there at any time and, and do a great job for us. And, and, you know, I told each one of those guys after the game, you know, I love them and they've done so well this season. And, you know, it's not just because we won, but they really have uh, done everything um, to kind of get this offense going. You know, it starts up front. You know, we say that at every press conference and stuff, but it really does uh, that those guys, uh, they work hard each week, um, and, and they really they show up every day wanting to get better. And, and from a group uh, that, you know, playing behind a group like that, it makes me confident knowing that I'm going to have time and, um, you know, receivers are going to get open. And so really, uh, you have to give lots of credit to, to those five up front. Yeah, I think it's pretty pretty cool. Maryville went 60 and 0 this year in football, from junior high all the way up uh, through uh, through our university. I don't know if any other town in America could say that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it means a lot to me. You know, Northwest is a very special place to me, and uh, I think it's the most special for me. It's an opportunity for uh, my family and I to get together every uh, Saturday in the fall, and just you know, again, I just try to keep building to the legacy there at Northwest, and uh, it's a good feeling. Coach, thank you. Congratulations. Tremendous job. Thank you. Thanks.